And this morning's thanks to teachers, we are honoring a woman who is not new to recognition. The former teacher of the year at North Henderson High School is still going strong when some may have burned out. The excitement Dot Case brings each day to her history class proves she is well deserving. Miss Case has been nominated to be a Thanks to Teachers winner, so we are here to surprise her. She has no idea. Just saw us in the break room while she was grabbing a drink and didn't realize we were here for her. In her 42nd year of teaching, get out your notes, please. Not much probably surprises Dot Case, except maybe a TV crew interrupting her U.S. history class, which she took in stride. Education doesn't always get a great, uh, a great reward, but sometimes the rewards are great like this, and sometimes the rewards are very small when a kid learns something that you've been teaching, and you go, yay, you know, they've, they've picked up something that I've been trying to teach them. And history may not be the subject many look back on as being their favorite in high school, but she works every day to change that. Once you actually, like, go into class and do her work, she's a cool teacher. Like, she doesn't give boring talks. She actually, like involves the entire class in what we do. Okay. So it does not specify a number. So how many do we have today, Olivia? Calling on students, keeping everyone on their toes. I started out in junior high, started out in ninth grade, and uh, then moved up to high school, and high school's where I'm called to be. Abby. Justice. Justice. And not just in the classroom. I learned a long time ago, if you want kids to support you, then you go to their extracurricular activities, you go to the ball games and whatever. I've actually grown up with Miss Case since I was really little, and she is just a phenomenal teacher and a phenomenal person in general. And I know I can go to her for anything that I'll ever need, whether it be educational or just in my life. A mutual respect Miss Case hopes will lead to a love of history, but more importantly, lifelong goals to be good Americans. Knowing about their country, becoming good citizens. We've just been through a political campaign that they've had to do, and I hope they become good voters. Uh, I hope that they um, learn about values and what life has out there for them, and it's going to take work to get what they want. Okay, and for that, we say thank you. I found myself trying to answer all of those questions and wanting to be involved as well. She just calls out students' names, keeping them very on their toes. Just bam, bam, like a Jeopardy match yeah. almost. It was very, very interesting classroom to be in. Now remember, we need more nominations to recognize a deserving teacher each week right here on News 13 this morning. Go to WLOS.com, click on Contests, then thanks to teachers. And that's exactly what those kids will get in college too. Yes. Prepares them well.